Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is on to the next shuttle in the Star Trek Shuttlecraft official magazine collection, I don't even know, it's getting long now. Star Trek the official Starship Collection magazine. But, we're on to number three, the Type, type 10. I read that upside down for a second, I was like, Type 1? That's not right. Type 10 Shuttlecraft, which for some reason comes before issue or magazine 4, which is the Type 9. But moving on. This is the one that has the uh, kind of defiant nacelle type design, which I never even really noticed before. But I did not watch Deep Space Nine as religiously as I did the others. But anyhow, let's start with the magazine. The magazines are smaller, they're not as big, they're not going to fit in the binder with the rest of them, which is a little disappointing because I'd actually gotten a separate binder for the specials and this would have fit in there kind of nicely, but anyhow, you open it up, you've got your usual contents, um, Chaffee? Chaffee? I'm not exactly sure how to say that, but here it is, picture, you know, little profile, Starting paragraph or so, we've got a couple of pages with information I'm assuming about the shuttlecraft. I'm not going to get into that. Some pictures. And if we move on, here is a, basically the acutogram in print sheet form. I think it's the same thing it has been with the other ships. And that's it. It's just the uh, seven seven pages so not a lot to it but there it is a little bit of a read you pop into here and I'm trying not to make this video last forever open this up we have yay the, we have the little base we'll get this out of the way first maybe a little base which is like the regular ships, the same shape, but not the same size. Same shape and style. It's just a little black oval, um, smaller than the usual bases, and has a little sticker on the back and a little peg hole. And with these, you have a very flat, clear stand, which set it in the previous videos and I, other people have said it it's not as secure it's not going to keep the ship from sliding off due, due to vibrations which are part of life so that's going to need something to to keep this from sliding off especially this one I would think is even more susceptible this is the Chaffee NX 74205 neat little ship has good detail. Can't say for certain where the metal is, possibly the bottom, I'm not sure. But very nice looking, it's very detailed, lots of color and shades and stripes and 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 contours and whatnot. And you've got your um, pinstriping and the name tiny tiny little letters defiant shuttlecraft and I, I, I can't even really read the other I'm not going to worry with it and same on the other side and we have the back view with I'm guessing the impulse engines and the newer style in the cells But this is a nice detail, nice color, nice and tiny. And as far as sitting on the stand, it's just the same, it just sits there. And this one makes me even more nervous because the others at least have the cells that drop down on each side that would keep it from going this way and this way. This one not only doesn't have that, but it also has a groove of sorts, so if it gets too far to one side, going to become even more susceptible to falling because it kind of 
also a little bit more. So this is one that if I can't find some sort of sticky solution that I'm happy with, I'm going to have to check constantly to make sure it hasn't fallen. It might even make my own stands. But anyhow, that is the uh, third shuttlecraft in the collection, the Shafor, Shafe, Shafi. Not exactly sure. There we have it. Nice little detailed kit. Oh yeah, no, that's not it. We have the Kudagram. So we'll open up a little plastic sheet. It has a layout and probably, yeah, get that out of the way. The white of this table probably helps it show up a little bit better. But it is definitely made to be backlit, which is something I would like to do. It's a neat little layout of the different systems. And it's the same as, as far as I can tell what's in the magazine. And it comes with a couple of little stands that you just kind of pinch on the bottom and it holds it up. Uh, one thing I don't like about these stands or this setup is that these stands will cover part of the front of it. I mean, it's somewhat unavoidable, but they're so big, it, it just, I wish there was a different way, or there was more of a lip down here to accommodate for that so it didn't block any of the picture. And I've made the comment in a previous video, it's nice, they, instead of having the profile, they have this in the magazine, and it would be really neat if they did this sort of thing for more of the magazines, especially the Federation ships, but um, then you're restricted to whether or not the information is available, um, the cost of, of creating a much more complicated picture and design, what about the other ships, what about the non-Federation ships, do you do, do you try to do a Federation layout, which will be completely from scratch, do you try to do, you know, like Klingon ships and a Klingon layout that's not even readable. It's I can see why they've chosen the way they have. But anyhow, so there we have it, and there goes the ship. Shows how unstable that is. So any questions or comments? Thank you for watching. No, that's not how that goes. Thank you for watching. Any questions or comments? Please leave them down below. And uh, if you're watching the playlist, next up will be issue four.